Okay, welcome back to Ocarina of Time. This is the second video of the Water Temple. And uh, this room is hot, so I am sweating and I am drinking Gatorade. It's it's pretty good. I was like, oh, we can't <laughs> we can't swim out of here. And then I was like, oh, you probably need the hook shot for that. Anyways, how's it going? I can't. Uh, it's been a couple days since I made one of these videos, and uh, I don't know. I haven't. I've been a total. Uh, I don't know. I just haven't recorded any other game, and I feel bad. So. Uh, oh, oh, I feel so bad, you know, because I haven't recorded an Ace Attorney video in a bit, and I'm like, oh, uh, that whole thing. Anyway, at the end of this hallway is that bombable thing. So, yeah, I had a few issues with this part of the temple, mainly it's just being confused and uh, backtracking and then... Uh, uh, Ferrore's courage kind of backfiring on me and not warping me to the right spot. Um, but it was okay, I guess. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I've been chilling today. I've been, uh, just, like, panicking over, like, the idea that I have to start looking for a job. And, uh, I might- I made myself some uh, like, vegetarian, like, vindaloo and some jasmine rice in the microwave. And then I just made myself some, like, Annie's mac and cheese, some, like, butter spirals with parmesan. Or, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it, it had butter or not, but it did have real butter in it because I put butter in it when I cooked it, anyway. Cooking is kind of fun, I don't know if you can call it cooking, but, um, I made avocado toast the other day because I had multigrain bread in the freezer and I had a couple of avocados and uh, my mom like has this obsession with lemon preserves like lemons uh, cut up lemon rind in a jar with like salt and water so I was like okay I'll use that on the avocado toast I'll use some like pepper I'll use some, like, garlic powder, and just, like, those are the only spices I have in this, in this apartment right now. Did I mention I just moved here, like, a little over a week ago, and this is a, a very new situation for me, and I'm still getting used to it, but, um, um, almost like how it was when I was, uh, starting school in, in Baltimore, except a little bit different. And now I'm back in New York, but, yeah, New York is, uh... When I was editing this uh, little bit of footage, uh, I was like, obviously I was cutting out uh, like me being lost and stuff, and then I was uh, speeding up parts of it and I was like, oh the sped up parts look so funny, I kind of want to leave them in, but I don't think I left in that many of them. Um, because uh, my friends always used to say like, oh, everything's like sped up, like it's so disorienting because, I, I don't know, I played them some like old video of mine uh, where like it was a, 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 like, it was just a montage of me going around and finding collectibles. Like, of course it was sped up, but then they were like, oh, it's sped up and it's disorienting. And, and, and now I've like deigned to, declined to use, I don't know if deigned is the right word, declined to use um, speeding up editing as often as I would like to, because I do like using it. And I, I think I t haven't totally stopped using it. Um, I just don't remember when the last time was, but, um, I was also using my, um, like, my, uh, video editor pro uh, program takes, like, screenshots, like, if you just pause it on a specific frame, you can save that frame as a screenshot, so, or a snapshot, um, so probably every video editor does that. Also, have we talked about in how in Ocarina of Time, like, when you press Z to get the camera behind you, it's, like, it's the loudest sound known to man. It's just, like... It's, uh, it's kind of an obnoxious sound that you don't always think about, especially if you're used to the game. 
But, like, <laughs> if you're watching this casually or if you don't know a lot about the game, it's like, and I'm trying to get the camera in the right position, it's just like... <sighs> it's funny. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, I was just trying to take, like, super goofy screenshots of, like, Link clipping through the camera while he's swimming and, like, the camera clipping out of bounds or, like, the camera zooming in on really weird textures. Uh, I, f I got a pretty good one where, like, the camera actually clipped through Link's face. Um, and I was debating whether or not to use it as the thumbnail, but, like... <laughs> I feel like, I oh, thumbnails, you know, you have to use a good thumbnail if you want your audience to engage. It's like, well, I, at this point, I don't even care about that. Like... Oh, and this, at this point, I reloaded my save because I was like, well, I want to conserve my health because I only have one fairy. fairy uh, fairies are very important in this temple. Even more so than fire and forest. In fact, they're like, take him or leave him fire and forest. This temple, they are extremely necessary. Um, hmm. Oh, I needed that. That Gatorade is so good. Okay, so this room goes off to the side, and what is this room? This room is a fountain that goes straight up. And of course, this room has a tektite that falls on you from the above. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. Here it goes. Here comes the tektite. There it is. Yeah. It's even funnier when it falls all the way down the shaft and just lands on your head. And then I was trying to be, like, all badass and, like, take it out with it. And then you can hear me button mashing because, like, button mashing is really the only way to kill these tektites. I hate tektites. They, they just jump around and they jump on you. Um, I, I really think this temple has too many of them. Here's where I used Ferore's Courage. So Ferore's Courage is, like, one of the three, like kind of optional, except Din's Fire isn't optional. But it's like based on the three goddesses of the Triforce, you have Din, Furore, and Nehru. So you have Din's Fire, Furore's Courage, and Nehru's Love. Nehru's Love is more or less, like, useless. Uh, Furore's Courage is only really useful in this temple. And, uh, even still, I managed to fuck it up. Um... You want to use Ferore's Courage at the first painting that you see, and I used it on that one. I was like, oh, I don't want to use it on the first painting because, like, what if that's not, you know. Uh, but, yeah, you, in hindsight, I now see exactly why I want to use it on the first painting. Also, we're calling them paintings now. So let's see. So one right, so first floor, or lowest floor, and then you go through the right passageway is the way you get to the first painting. And the first painting actually lowers the water level to the lowest level. And then uh, the third painting is the one that we were just at. Okay, here you see the little green thing and then it disappears. And I was like, what? Okay, here I kept in the sped up bit because it was really funny. Then you go in this central area, and that's the second painting. And then, yeah, the third one is the one we were just at. Uh, so... Yes, I did forget something in that room. And you can hear me, like, wheezing, laughing, because I wasn't expecting to be taken to that specific uh, warp point and I was like, well crap, I'll just have to walk over there anyway. So you want to go up here and like backtrack here once you've gotten the uh, water to like the middle level, the second level, because that's the only way you can blow up this like crack in the wall. It's very obvious, like uh, like you see it every time you swim past it, but the way you get to it is not obvious. And this is the whole reason that you want Ferrore's Courage is uh, so that you can get the water at the middle level and then work back here and just 
jump down the hole. Um, and then I used Ferrari's Courage again, and it worked me to a spot... Oh, it didn't even work. Or Ferrari's Wind. Ferrari's Courage. What am I thinking of? Why, why did I call it Ferrari's Courage? Ferrari's Wind? Anyway. You can do this. So, like, the, the door uh, gates shut. Bill gates. Uh, and if you want to get back in there. But, like... This doesn't really do anything for us. I was just showing it off. Oh, well, I thought we needed to get back in here. But once you go in here, it's... And then... Okay, I, I guess I didn't really properly show where this was. This is uh, the room that we needed the key to get, get in. It's basically, uh, like, I think three left. Or it's kind of off, off to the side of three left. Here's a Sculptula that's way up on the wall, and uh, we actually need to backtrack to get this one too, because we don't have- our hookshot isn't long enough to reach and grab the token, so that's unfortunate. I just wasted um, 15 seconds of your time right here by doing this. Anyway, I came here and I actually needed a key, but um, I found this amazing glitch, which might just be- might just be an emulator issue. Also, I was like, what What was that white pixel down there in the, like, empty void? I think it was an arrow. I'll, I'll see it in just a second. But I found this amazing glitch. That was, uh, that was amazing. It was so amazing that I had to do it a second time. So here's the amazing glitch again. <laughs> and then the doing the super like epic jump strike to get back on the platform like that's some like speed running shit right there Anyway, oh Look at me. I'm a speed runner uh, So yeah, this is a fun room. You just kind of It feels like a like like a wet ride from Disney, you know, like you're casually just like riding down the waterfall and it's very relaxing so, it just feels like a wet ride at an amusement park. Or a water ride, I guess. A water park. Um, yeah, so I got here and I was like, fuck, I don't have a key. So, fast forward back to... Uh, and then I was like, wait a second. There's something else in this room. So, you sink under the block... The cutscene does kind of uh, give you a hint that you're supposed to sink under the block. So there's a little hole, and you're like, oh, what's down this hole? It's a, a, a secret. I don't know, I couldn't think of something funny to say. Anyways, I really have to use the bathroom. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my video program for us. Come on. Okay, there it goes. And now it's showing the clams. I like you, how you get in this room, and then you hit the switch, and then it's like, oh boy, it's a fun little enemy gauntlet. Anyway. So much fun. Yay. At least I had a, a bit of a strategy for doing this. Uh, not really, though. I let myself get back into a corner. But it, it was still fine. So far, so good. We haven't started on the clams yet. I like how these guys all drop bombs. Like, yes, I'm really gonna need those bombs, because I can definitely use bombs underwater. And then they were like, ooh, Twilight Princess, we should make bombs usable underwater. In fact, we should make a whole separate type of bombs that are water bombs. And then those were used for, like, one, one temple. I don't, like, dislike Twilight Princess. I just think it's... Unusual. I don't know. I, I, I like I like Twilight Princess. There's me having fun and like being glitchy. Okay, yes, I could have taken a few freeze frames of that. That would have been a good thumbnail. Uh I still can, I guess. 
Mm-hmm. I was just thinking about Newark, New Jersey. No, I'm kidding. In New Jersey, what a wonderful, magical place is like Weehawken. Oh, and here I was just like trying to get up like in the wall, like to force the camera into the wall just to make like a funny screenshot. I yeah. It is so hot in this room, and I'm all out of Gatorade, so it's it's a very sad thing. Oh, and I have to finish uh, this episode. Ugh, I'm yawning! Ugh, I'm sorry. I have to finish this episode soon because my phone's on 18% battery. Um, oh, okay, y yay. Messing with the camera and clipping through walls, that's always fun. And you can do a lot of it in the Water Temple specifically. Like, it's a... The Water Temple is just a great place for, like, glitches and getting the camera out of bounds. And, like, something about, like, the waterness of it. It just makes it a, a very fitting place for... Uh, excuse... I don't know. I don't know, just the idea that, like, the ocean surrounds the land, always, and, like, the blue space, like, surrounds the areas of the game that are off-camera, uh, I don't know, that was, it, that was unnecessarily philosophical. Anyway, we finally have a key, and so now we're going to go back to the, um... The, uh, the room that I called the Disney Water Ride. And now, yeah, now you can see where it is. It's, uh, it's three left. Which is just how I think about this temple. Which I already explained that. It should be pretty self-explanatory. One is bottom, two is middle, three is top. And each of those has a, a path that goes uh, up, down, right, and left. Like, everybody... Ugh, excuse me. Everybody knows up, down, right, left, even if they don't know uh, north, south, east, west. And if, like, if you can't tell the difference, if you don't know that east is, like, right on the map and west is left, like, you really have no excuse, except maybe if you're, like, seven years old. You really have no excuse for not knowing that, but whatever. Um, I, I don't know why I'm going on a diatribe about East meets West. West meets East. Chicago deep dish pizza. Oh boy, this room. This room is so fun. Uh, especially because we got these assholes. These assholes. Um, see, I don't want to have to deal with, like, fighting them underwater. And... I think... Uh, I thought it would be cool if I did a jump strike into the water, but it didn't even work because the water canceled out my sword, so boo. Boo-hoo. Humbungus. Chungus. Okay. <laughs> I just reloaded my save state. I was like, ah, screw it. Ah, F it. See, I didn't I didn't say the word in case your mom was in the room. It was like, oh, I'm watching a YouTube video on my iPad. Like I used to do. Um, like, iPad. iPad? What's an iPad? What's a weekend? Oh my god, excuse me. Ah, uh, Maybe I should take, like, a nap after this. Holy... Dungarees. Holy Bonsai Bob. Buckaroo Bonsai in the 24th century. No, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting Buck Rogers in the 25th century confused with The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai. Which I actually have seen that movie, uh, Buckaroo Banzai, with, uh, Jeff Goldblum is in it, I think. He plays, like, a side character. Anyway, it's, it's a silly movie. A very silly movie. A movie for silly people. Like me. Oh, stop yawning. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Next time I do a video, I'm gonna have to like, 
drink coffee first. I can't stand. Or, or you know, you know what? Drink, a, drink an energy drink, because I've been talking about my favorite en energy drinks in the last couple of videos. Oh, this like like just at the top of the thing. It's like right under the hookshot target. It's like the one of the worst trolls in the entire game. It's like, oh, I need to get up over the spikes. How do I do it? By putting myself right in the mouth of danger. Thanks, game developers. So now you get to see what happens when the like like eats you. It's it's not a very good time, uh, in my opinion. The shield is gone. The tunic you're wearing has been taken. I'm sl I sound like Donald Trump in that Elon Musk thing. Like, oh, you know, Idaho and Iowa, we're gonna take away their schools. Shut up. <laughs> Getting too political again. Oh, goodness. So, I guess we're technically at the halfway mark of the Water Temple. Uh, yeah, next up is will be uh, the mini-boss, which is uh, you-know-who. If you know who it is, don't spoil it, because it's one of the coolest moments of this temple, but it's also just like, eh. It's very annoying also, because it's just, it's so hard. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.